Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Well Sourced coming at you with the third part of a three-part series from our recent bins haul. The first part of the series was accessories, the second part was clothing, and the third part is going to be shoes. So I think I previously stated I picked up about 20 pairs of shoes this day. I kind of think that's a lie. We'll go ahead and count them when we're done and see what we have. Um, my bins in Nashville and Middle Tennessee are $1.09 per pound, and they generally have all the shoes rubber banded together, which makes life a lot easier. Sometimes you go on a hunt for that pair, but typically they're together, and they are constantly refilling the bins while you're there, so you keep wanting to go back to look for more. So let's just get into it so we can see what I picked up this day. Some of these required a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of um, touch up. I don't mind doing that but I am getting a little more picky as I go into this full-time reselling career um, of being a little less, you know, wanting to do a ton of work on these things. So first up uh, was this pair of Lacoste snow boots. They just have sort of this leather waterproof bottom with grip and the snowflake pattern on them. They were in good shape. I did kind of give the top a little bit of a scrub. They have this tie top. And these are the Snug Snowflake. These are women's seven and a half. There's the little Lacoste alligator. And they were in overall good condition and, and lightweight. So at $1.09 a pound, these are a couple pounds. So I don't mind spending a couple dollars to purchase those. Next up, these had a few little marks on them. These are vintage, water resistant, kangaroos. So if you're about my age, you may remember kangaroos when you were a kid. They had little sneakers with a zipper in it. And we kept those, you know, I didn't have a pair, but my friends would keep a quarter in theirs in case they need to make a call from a phone booth. And for those of you who are a lot younger than I am, a phone booth is what we had before cell phones. Uh, so these are kind of like a, they remind me of like an army boot almost. Um, they do have the pocket here. They have a lace up kind of a lug sole on them. Sometimes older shoes can have the rubber crumble on the bottom. These were in okay condition and they're water resistant. I can't remember what size these were. They're a women's seven and a half. So these are just fun. They had a few marks on the suede. I need to just get that as a little soap residue, I think, but I did scrub these up. Um, and then on the back, the kangaroo logo was missing off the back. But these should not end up in a landfill because they are just too fun and a part of history. <laughs> Next up is just a pair of Sanooks. The um, loafer. These are a size 7. And men's 7. Um, they have, Sanook has this yoga mat bedding to them. I did throw these in the wash, so some of the fringe came up a little bit. I just need to go trim that off. So a seven's a pretty small size, but um, a little kid or a, person, a man with small feet, or I guess a women's eight and a half if you had a wider foot. But these, I own several pairs of Sanooks, not this style, but they are cute and fun. Um, I do pick up Crocs. This is a Croc, like a wedge, slide on, strappy. It was in good condition. I believe these were a nine. They're a women's nine. And I do all right selling these. Um, I do prefer to pick them up at the bins though because these are extremely lightweight so I don't have as much of an investment into them. And again, something that's super easy to clean up. Next up is a pair of Tom suede um, hidden wedge kind of heel here. And this is suede wrapped lace up. These are a women's eight and a half. And they kind of have this bronze sort of metallic toms on the back. Good condition on the bottom. I just took my suede brush to these. They cleaned up really well. These are perfect for fall. So I do need to get these listed. Um, if they were my size, I'd be wearing them with this outfit right now. These are still a little damp because I did scrub off some, it looked like they had some grease on them. This is a pair of women's Timberland boots. It's the short boot. And these are a size, I think eight and a half. Women's eight and a half. And these are waterproof. 
it says guaranteed waterproof right on this tag. They are just the traditional Timberland color, very good condition. Um, so it has a, some faint watermarks that were already on there, which is odd since it's waterproof. And then one of the boots had, right here, I scraped off some of the grease and they did clean up very well. Um, you know, so they are, they'll be in pretty good condition for some. Next up is a pair of Birkenstocks. These are like the crossover two strap toe. The cork was in really good condition. The bottoms are in pretty good condition. There is 37 um, Birkenstock and they, it was a little odd because the hardware here had so much wear on them, but it, they do check out. They've got the Birkenstock here, the Birk on the bottom, the Birk and the Birkin on these two. And then the footbed has all the, the right things on it. So, and it, they were in good condition. So I don't know if they got wet or what happened with those, but I do very well selling Birkenstocks. These weigh about a pound. So great pickup. These are interesting. I'm always hesitant to pick up anything that is super hot or very name brand um, or designer, but these are Fendi little kids little boys slides. Am I holding those the right way? No, I'm not. <laughs> so they say Fendi and then they say um, Fendi, Roma, made in Italy. And I don't know. I mean, I assume these are legit. They feel legit. I looked at pictures. They look just like this. Who's going to fake a little kid's Fendi shoe? Probably somebody. But I'm going to go ahead and list them because I believe that they are for reals. Um, and they're a size 32, Italian 32. So I might have to look that up. Um, it, they do European sizing on some stuff, but to see what that equates to. And I did not mean to flip you all off. <laughs> so anyway, I threw them in my cart just to check them out. Um, so we'll see what happens. When I was in Italy, it was very crazy to see all these stores. You're walking by that people are walking out of with huge bags full of things and I was eating, of course, but they were there to shop. <laughs> I was not. All right, next up is a pair of animal print furry slides with a Velcro top. These are by Vionic, and they're in extremely good condition. They're just a slide. That's like a zebra print of some sort. These were a size 12, I believe. Yeah, US 12 by Vionic. So I like selling Vionic, especially in the bigger sizes. Um, I've got a pretty good sell-through rate on those. Next up, don't get excited when I show you, pair of Rothy's. <laughs> Threw them in my cart, they weighed nothing. They were my size because on Rothy's you need to like size up half a size if you have a normal size foot and if you have a wider foot, a whole size. These are a 10. Um, I grabbed them because they were my size. So even if they were fake, I would be able to wear them. Why people fake things that only cost a couple hundred dollars, I'm not 100% sure. They check out um, on the top here, they've got the tag that has all the right wording on it and kind of the right feeling, but there's no drain hole in the base. So um, I cleaned them up, threw them through the wash, and they will be going into my own personal collection. And so it was sort of a bummer because I've never found Rothy's out in the wild, but um, it's fine because they're cozy and comfortable and I'll use them. These I solely bought for myself. We go camping in our camper. This is a pair of UGG mules. They have been well loved, but they are still in, they have a life left in them. And I like to wear slippers in our camper, but I also like to wear slippers out by the fire at, like after I've taken off my hiking boots or whatever we've done for that day. So I bought these solely for myself to keep in the camper. Um, okay, these I threw in my cart because I just knew that they had to be something. They are a full leather sandal with a rubber sole, but a thick, solid rubber sole. These are a men's size 11. And I cleaned these up with some leather conditioner and Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam. Um, I'm going to have to put on the screen what the brand is on here because I've forgotten. It's like Dave and 
Sarah's or Dave and Chris or something. It's a brand. It's kind of worn down here. These have a pretty good resale value and I'll put the comps up there for them just because I don't remember and I'd never heard of this brand before. But these are a substantial sandal. I didn't even look them up in the store. I just felt like they were going home with me. Next up, this is maybe more of a dated style, but I do pretty well selling soft. And that's S-O-F-F-T. These are sort of a stacked heel, a small little heel. They're red with this big metal medallion on the top here, kind of bronze gold tone, soft. They are leather, they're very well made. And these have, they're more of a comfort shoe on the bottom here, they've got this grip. These were a size, hmm, I don't remember. These were a nine. So, you know, it's a leather upper. They're very, very good condition. The heels were good that stacked wood heel and the bottoms. So for someone in the summer, these will be a cute little pop of color on your feet. All right, I do okay selling Lucky Brand, but I don't wanna pay up for it. These need a little lint roll. And believe it or not, I lost my lint roller and I had, I don't know where it could go. I also lost my sweater shaver. I had to order a new one. I don't have a mansion. I don't work outside. I have no idea where they've gone. And I can't find them. So I just ordered a new one rather than continue to look for it. But these are a pair of strappy wedges, this cork wedge by Lucky. And they are a size. <laughs> I did find it and I can't remember what they are. Eight. It's just this fabric upper with this kind of studded detail. See how I need to lint roll that a little bit. The bottoms were in pretty good condition. These I have not even cleaned up yet. Um, but it's got a cork wedge on the back here, a couple inches. They're cute, maybe not on season right now, but I picked those up. Next up, I picked up a pair of little kid Uggs. Do all right selling little kid Uggs. These were kind of beat up on the toes. Somebody took a few diggers, but um, they're just a like a chuck a boot or is it a Chelsea, Chelsea boot that zips up um, on the inside. And then it doesn't have like shearling lining or anything in it, but it's just a leather Ugg boot. That are, they're cute. Also for kids, these are a pair of Ariat Ropers, riding boots. They were, they needed some conditioning. They could still use a little bit more polish, but they look a ton better. They've been used. Maybe some little girl rode a horse. That makes me happy in my soul <laughs> that they were actually used. So there's the Ariat. Um, and these are a size, I laced them up here. Let's see what they are. A US one. So a big kids one and they're in good condition and they have a lot of life left in them. A lot of life and I hope they find a new life. All right, these are, I don't remember who's talked about this brand recently before. These are a pair of leather ballet flats, kind of this caramel cognac color, I guess. By Blue Chocolat, no, Chocolat Blue or Chocolate Blue. And they are leather. They have kind of the ballet flat here and they have this pleated toe vamp kind of area. And these have a size on them. I can't remember what they are. And I can't see it right now. It was very hard to see. Why they do that is beyond me. Six and a half, they were small. But these are extremely cute. And they have just this slight wrapped leather heel wedge going on here. Um, so, you know, I just took a, a little bit of leather conditioner to these and they were already in very good condition. These, I do all right selling um, like grandma booties or a shooty. So this is a suede stacked heel, three inch heel with this pointed square toe. And it's really hard to see this detail through it. It's this sort of, um, squiggly line with some 
crock embossed leather on the suede. And the suede looks way better than when it's lit up with my ring light. The brand is Paloma. They're made in Italy of suede. They're an eight and a half. And they're fun. They have kind of this elastic stretch here. There's just slip on shooty. <laughs> and I use the word grandma booty. I, I don't know if that's even a thing, but um, it works. Kind of like or a, sh a witch's shoe. <laughs> I'm not sure. But it has, you know, it's a fun kind of Western, Western vibe to it. Stevie Nicks, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, next up is this brand called Curio. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. K-H-R-I-O. This is Curio. Mm, Vera Pele. I don't know what that means. Made in somewhere, maybe. And they are a mixed leather brown shoe. They've got suede, they've got some metallic, they have a zip, they have a tie, <laughs> they've got some suede. They're just sort of an interesting shoe. I thought they were interesting, so I quickly looked them up at the bins. Um, they're sometimes sold by Anthropology. I don't know about this brand. I don't know how these will resell, but I was willing to take a gamble on it because I thought they were interesting. And they're a, a 39. So they are just kind of this fun mixed leather shoe. Let's see. Okay, these were, I don't know how to size these, and I wasn't sure if I could get them to be anything. They're so pretty crunchy. Um, it's a vintage shoe. It smells like your grandma's basement. Um, they are this mustard yellow color though, and I'm not sure when these would have been from. The brand is called Selby Fifth Avenue, S-E-L-B-Y. I may just redonate these. They have this block heel. They've been worn, but the leather is sort of turning to paper. But they're just just very cool. And I, if they would fit my foot, I would wear them. But they do not. So those may be a bust. Next up is a pair of sandals. Uh, the brand is um, OTBT. And I don't know if that stands for something. But every time I see this, that's other resellers have told me that that's what that stands for. So I might have to do some research on that. These are the... Either the Aviate or the Aviati, but Aviate seven and a half. It's a leather and it's this mixed metallic print. Um, it's got some gold and bronze tones up there. And then the only thing is the footbed here has some wear, but I can't imagine like why would it turn that color if it's kind of not supposed to do that? I don't know. I, the other shoes I did see in the same style did not have that going, but they were maybe newer. But if you're wearing the shoe, you wouldn't really notice that. Um, they're in good condition and they're kind of this gladiator sling black back um, thong sandal so you know what I think someone can overlook the fact that the toe bed is worn there and a little bit over here all right last up is a pair of kids boots these are Sorrells they're this purple with a gray bottom I live in middle Tennessee we have red dirt it stains everything I tried to get it out um, some little girl ran around in the snow and then it got muddy and that's what happens around here. I grew up in North Idaho where you got Sorrells. That's just what you had. And um, I remember having Sorrells and then as soon as my foot stopped growing, I got a brand new pair of Sorrells, which I still own to this day. And I have been, um, that's probably since about eighth grade. So that's been many, many, many moons ago. So they last. And... Um, so it used to be, I believe, a Canadian company. I think it might be owned by Mountain Hardware in Columbia now in Oregon, but I'm not 100% sure. So these just have the removable liner and then this soft shell here and the rubber bottom. They cleaned up pretty well, well enough for a little kid to wear them for one season because it, it's going to, they'll photo grow out of it. They're a size two, the snow otter. So I'm just listing as is. If you have a little kid who's going to play outside, then they're gonna get them dirty anyway. So 
you know what? It wasn't a bad day at the bins that day. I did end up getting a lot of accessories, some clothing, and quite a few pairs of shoes. I should count them really quick just to see what I said if I lied. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. So I didn't totally exaggerate with my 20. I feel pretty good about that. A few I need to research. Um, bummed about the Rothy's, but again, they'll fit me. And the Fendi shoes, hopefully no one tries to say that I'm selling something fake. And I will let you know more about these uh, men's sandals because I thought they were kind of cool. So anyway, I think that I will make some money back on these for sure, and I appreciate you joining me on this journey. Go ahead and check out those other two videos from the other parts of my haul. Next week, there will be a Thread Up unboxing video. It's a 24-piece scarf uh, unboxing, and that'll be posting on Thanksgiving. So that's something to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so that you get reminded about that when it goes up. And... Other than that, we will just see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me on my journey. Again, I'm Trish with Well Sourced, and we'll see you next time. Take care.